Now it's time for Quarantine Tonight. Live from an undisclosed location north of the Platte River, here's your host, Mike Flood. Well, do I have a surprise for you tonight. This is the most people that we've had on Quarantine Tonight in the show's history. You can tell that COVID-19 is over. The health director would have had us kicked out of Kansas by now. It is, it's a nice big crowd. This is the Preg uh, Czech Band, Brass Band, and uh, they are all here. One, two, three, four, five, a lot of them. We have two queens. Uh, we'll talk about that here in a second. This is the first time we've even had that on the program. Uh, you're watching a special edition of Quarantine Tonight, and if you love polka music, you are in for the best two hours anywhere on television. You're not going to beat this. You're not going to have this many Nebraska musicians uh, gathered. I would say if I had to pick, the majority of them are from Fremont, Nebraska, but they're also from Aurora and Lincoln and other communities, and we'll find out more about all of them here in just a second. Again, a big night of polka tonight with our largest band ever, so... I'm not kidding you. Now's the time to call your neighbor and issue the polka alert because you know how special these are. And we are so fortunate that they have all descended upon our secret undisclosed location tonight. So we will be with you in just a moment. Let's start out with our evening prayer. Hello, my name is Pastor Terry Kruger and I'm the pastor at St. Mark's Lutheran Church in Bloomfield. And today I would like to offer up a prayer. This is a prayer I prayed relatively recently at worship at St. Mark's, and it is the prayer attributed to St. Francis. Let us pray. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Dots. It's just taking me a little bit. Uh, Mr. Steger is here. We call him Mr. Steger because he has inspired legions of polka players uh, on this show. In fact, we'll have the happy players here next week. Also a band from Fremont with polka. But Steve is here. And uh, this Czech band uh, dates back to when? Well, it was started back in 1980 okay. by my father-in-law, Adolf Nimitz. Okay. And he uh, got the music from the Cedar Hill Czech Brass Band from the 1930s. They would play and do platform dances in the 30s back in a town, well, not in town, but outside west of Morse Bluff, Nebraska, north of Prague. And by the way, he talks about his father-in-law. He's got his wife working tonight, too. Mm -hmm. She's back there. We better make an introduction. <laughs> okay. It's my wife, Debbie. All right. And then... Uh, other relatives? Why don't we just point this out real quick? There's a few. Yeah. <laughs> Wait until you find out how many. <laughs> on the drums is Joshua, our oldest son. Yes. <laughs> and then on the baritone is Jeremiah, our middle child, second son. Okay. And then next to Jeremiah is Greta. That's our niece. Oh, yes. And then over here, our current state queen is Cecilia, another niece. Okay. And doing some singing is Mark. That's my brother-in-law, Debbie's brother. Okay. And I think that's it for relatives. Debbie, your dad has to be awfully proud. I mean, you married right in order to get into this stuff and keep the, keep the band going, yeah, your dad as well. So uh, we're going to find out more about everybody here. And uh, first and foremost, we want to thank them for being here. We're going to start out something special tonight. We're going to start out with two national anthems. And you'll note in the back... We have, of course, the red, white, and blue, the stars and stripes for the United States. And then we have the flag of Czechoslovakia. Czech Republic. The Czech Republic. And uh, that, uh, which anthem are we going to do first? We'll do the United States. We'll Star do Spain. the United States uh, anthem first, and then uh, the Czech Republic national anthem. And then it's on to this unbelievable Czech polka brass band uh, from Prague. You're watching News Channel Nebraska. Five beats. One, two, three.
is the uh, Czech Republic National Anthem, sung by Cecilia Minchow and Mark Nimitz. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Welcome Home, which we start every performance with. Uh, this was written by uh, and uh, written and published through the Vitok Elsnik Company, which had a lot of Czech music written and uh, published in the Chicago area. So this is a Royal Welcome Home March. One and two and ready. Uh. <laughs> Thank you. That was our Royal Welcome Home March. Next, we're going to do the Tulak Polka, and it translates to the Wanderer. This is one of the original pieces performed by the Cedar Hill Brass Band. The lyrics translate into, the sun shines on me, I am going to free that bird, happy, yes, happy. And the first few pieces we're performing tonight are from the original music that we received from the Cedar Hill 
Czech brass band that played in the 1920s and the 30s. This is the Tulak Polka. And uh, one, two, one, two. <laughs> The next piece is going to feature our um, two young clarinetists on the end there. We're going to do the Katharina Landler, and our two clarinetists are Jessica and Yukina. And these two young ladies are quite talented clarinet players. Uh, Yukina will be a senior at Fremont High School, and Jessica will be a sophomore at Northwest Missouri State in, what's the city? Marysville, Marysville Missouri. Okay. So this is the Katharina Landler. Okay. One, two, three, one, two, three, ready. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. 
Very good. <laughs> All right. Next, we'll be performing the Happy Go Lucky Polka. This was copyrighted in 1924 as well by the Louis Vitok uh, Company. And they were responsible for putting hundreds of polkas and waltzes into print and arrangements that most of the polka bands in the 20th century used their music. And here we go with the Happy Go Lucky Polka. <clears throat> oh, glasses. Okay. Ready? One, two, one, two. <laughs> Thank you. I hope you're enjoying our music out there. Next, we're going to feature the baritone section with the baritone polka. Uh, this allows Mr. Matt Shepard to show off a little bit. Matt, uh, former teacher and retired, how many years? Two years? Two years. Good friend of mine. He has played in the Preg Czech Brass Band since, I think, the late 80s, probably. Long time. So we're going to do the baritone polka. Thank you. 
All righty, moving on, we're going to do a piece called Rose Marna. And Rose Marna is a piece that was given to me by Johnny Kutra, a longtime uh, accordion player in the Schuyler area. He used to listen to, the, uh, to our Preg Chat Brass Band, and he would give me tunes and say, you need to arrange this for the band. So I did that with this one. Um, we'd like to send this one out to all of the, the people that help with our Preg Czech Heritage Day, which is coming up August 14th. We have a huge uh, group that gets together to help work that day. I'd like to send this tune out to them. This is the Rosmarna Polka. the Prague Czech Brass Band right here on News Channel Nebraska. Well, look who I found uh, just kind of hanging off to the side. We've got one of two queens here tonight. And uh, let's start uh, with this brand new, uh, newly crowned queen. Just uh, Sunday, right? Is that right? Saturday. Saturday. All right, tell everybody your name and let's do this whole thing. Let's find out where you're from. Isn't she dressed so nice? Are those real flowers in your hair? Okay, just wondering. <laughs> All right, tell everybody who you are. My name is Cecilia Minchak. Spell that last name for me. M-I-N-C-H-O-W. All the people in the control room will really appreciate that. And uh, you were the Preg Czech queen uh, for the last year. And the, now, starting Saturday, tell everybody what happened. This happened. Yes. Uh, can I take this? Wow, thank you. Um, so I was a Preg Czech queen from 2019 to 2021 because COVID year. So I got two, which was kind of fun. And then I was just crowned the Miss Nebraska Czech Slovak Queen on Saturday, and I will have that title until next June. Wow. Now, did you already have this dress, or do they give you the dress on Saturday? Um, my aunt actually helped me make it, my Aunt Debbie. So with the help of both of my grandmas, and I embroidered the sleeves, and then my aunt helped kind of piece it all together. You did this yourself? Yes. My goodness. And you go to Concordia University, right? Correct. Well, you'll be a senior next year? Yes. 
And when she's not up here, she's reading a book, by the way, <laughs> off to the side. She is just, a, I mean, are you trying to score points in every category here? All right, and these boots, where do you get these boots? Uh, Dorothy give them to you from camp? I mean, it looks like, hey, show those boots on camera. Somebody's got to see these boots. That's, that's the real thing. They don't sell those at, uh, they don't sell those at the West Roads, do they? I got them on Amazon. You did that. I, you can get that on Amazon. All right. Well, we have another. Uh, would you come up here in the back? Yes, because we uh, tell me about who's coming up here. She's about to be crowned something special, right? Yes. This is my cousin Greta Rosno. And she is about to be crowned the Prague Czech Queen in August. So she will take the title that I had. And then next June, she'll be able to compete for the state title like I did. Well, look at you. You look so nice. And now these aren't real flowers, are they? No. <laughs> so uh, where are you in your journey? Are you, okay, she's at Concordia. Where are you? Um, I'm currently at UNL in Lincoln. And what year? Um, I'm going to be a sophomore next fall. And what are you studying? Um, nursing. Oh, very good. What about you? Uh, psychology and behavioral sciences. I'll get my master in school counseling. I thought you were going to say broadcasting. I thought maybe you were going to say like you were going to become an anchor. Well, did, now who made your dress? Um, so Aunt Debbie made my croy as well. She made the vest and the blouse and the skirt. I didn't help at all because I was like 12 when she made this. But. <laughs> that is a great answer, by the way. Now, how about your boots? Oh, those are, those are a little bit more stylish than what she has on over there. Yeah, they're a little different. I actually got these at Goodwill, so... <laughs> She's she's on a budget over here. Uh -huh. Well, we have we love having both of you here, and we're going to get our picture taken here in a little bit. So, uh, thank you very much. I tell you what, we're going to do now. Let's check Mike's mailbag and uh, see some of the letters that we got we've received from uh, viewers like you. This will just take a second. Uh, let's see here. What's in the mailbag? We get them from all over the place, and I'll tell you what, it makes my day to get these letters. And I bet we'll get some on tonight. Here's one from Jerry and Gretna. I've been watching Quarantine Tonight since it began. Great entertainment always. A huge thanks and appreciation to all who make it possible week after week. Well, thank you, Jerry. We appreciate that. And thanks for watching down in Gretna. Here's Berlin from Wayne. Thanks so much for keeping the music coming. Even if the days are busy, the nights are still long. Your music is a lifesaver. Well, hey, thank you. We appreciate that nice note. And here's one from Gloria in Norfolk. I compliment you on your good choice of music. Now, one thing I will say is we have to be extra nice to the, the uh, sound people tonight. Think about all the instruments that we have microphones on tonight. I was just counting all of the microphones. To get this many people on television takes a lot of effort on behalf of our sound folks and, of course, our musicians, which we're going to get to know more of here in just a little bit. So don't go anywhere. We're going to check our news and uh, that forecast. Will it be hot this weekend for the 4th of July? We'll find out soon from Chief Meteorologist Jeff Fox on News Channel Nebraska. All right, this is fun, ladies and gentlemen. The Quarantine Tonight program has, uh, I gotta make sure I get in the right spot here. The Quarantine Tonight program is uh, live uh, from the Norfolk VFW. I've decided just to tell people where we're at uh, because we don't need to be secret anymore given how many people we have here. But I wanna talk, uh, first of all, uh, to this guy here. You, you uh, are part of a family that has really embraced this music. Uh, tell everybody, I know your sister's here, your brother-in-law's here. Uh, give me your name again. Um, Mark Nimitz from Prague, Nebraska. Okay. Now this microphone. Oh, you, you're mic'd up there. I'm That's up right. To you. That's right. Uh, and he says Prague, uh, but when I first got here, you said it's really Prague. It's but Prague. what happened to that? Where did that? Where did I, we take a turn on I that? I don't know. I think it was just Americanized. Uh, as time went on, it, it just you know went from Prague to Prague. See, that's the same thing with Norfolk. We're supposed to be the North Fork. <laughs> And somebody in uh, somebody in uh, the post office in Virginia said, "Oh no, they're they're Norfolk." It's like, ah, get out of here. Uh, anyway, <laughs> but that said, uh, you have really embraced this. So tell me about this ensemble here. This is actually purchased from the Czech Republic. Yes, from the Bohemian region of Domosice, and this is kind of reminiscent of what uh, musicians from that part of Bohemia wear when they uh, uh, have a festival. Their kroi. Uh, this is basically the kind of the general croy uh, uh, for musicians and performers. Now, do you speak Czech? A little bit. Mluvím česky jen trochu, rozumíš trochu. 
What's that mean? I speak a little bit and I understand a very little bit. <laughs> After I get through Cinco de Mayo, I don't know much. <laughs> so, but I look at your at your script here. That's yes. that's the real deal. Like yes, that's that, and there's a lot of viewers that really appreciate someone that can sing in Czech. I know that because I've I've gotten letters from them. What does all this mean to you? Like when you you've obviously given your sisters here, your your brother-in-laws here, you've got nieces, nephews, people in your family. Uh, this is a this is something that you're passionate about. Why is that? Yes, um, a lot of this is passed down from generation to generation, through our grandparents, even our aunts and uncles on both my mother's and my father's side. I'm fourth generation Czechoslovakian immigrants, you know, and um, um, my great grandfather homesteaded uh, north of Prague, uh, you know, to farm, and um, my mother still lives out on the farm over there. My uh, father, Adolf Nimitz, he had the Adolf Nimitz Orchestra. He passed away coming up uh, to nine years ago, coming up this September. And, um, but um, uh, it was never anything that was pushed on all of us kids from the Adolf Nimitz family. Uh, they never forced us. It was just something that we all picked up. All nine kids in our family play instruments. Isn't that something? And that's yes. just a love of music that was passed on yes. from your mother and father. Uh, here's what I know about Preg. Uh, number one is they like to drink bula checks. Did I say that right? At, uh, yes, at at our at my cafe, the Kolach Corner Cafe. Is that yours? Downtown Prague, yeah. So you own that? Yeah. Okay, so I've probably been there before. Yeah. Bula checks. Yes. And, uh, and then there's a lot of prohaskas there. There are. And uh, there's a, a lady I work with in the legislature who is just one of the kindest people ever, uh, Carol Caranda. Yeah. She's from Prague, yeah, I think. Caranda, yeah. Caranda. Uh, <laughs> I love it. Hey, this is great. And uh, so you own, so you're making, you're making what, kolaches every day? My sister Debbie. If it wasn't Again, for my everything. sister Debbie. <laughs> Debbie does everything. <laughs> if it That's wasn't right. for my sister Debbie, we wouldn't be called the kolach corner. We would be probably be called the place on the corner. Oh, so. my gosh. I watch your show all, I watch your show all the time. And you said nobody has ever brought you kolach. Oh. And so we have apple, cherry, cream cheese, apricot, and I put in one poppy seed there. I didn't know if you're familiar with poppy seed or not, but that's our gift to you. Well, that is dynamo, by the way. They're the best, they're the best, best, best. Debbie, uh, she makes the clothes, she bakes the goods, mm -hmm. she plays, the, and then she sits in the back row, and nobody would know about her unless we, had, <laughs> we go talk to her brother. Well, thank you so much. Let's have more of the uh, Czech Brass Band from Prague on News Channel Nebraska. Next, we're going to do the Chedvene Tulipan Polka. So this next segment is going to feature some of the neuro music that we've come up with through the years. This is um, one that I arranged for the Ernie Kuchera band back when I was playing with him. And uh, then I rearranged it for the brass band to add some more instruments to it. Uh, we would like to dedicate this one to Gladys Nimitz and Cecilia Steger. Gladys is, or Gladys is my mother-in-law. Mark and Debbie's mother, and Cecilia Steger is my mother. So we have both grandparents, gr both grandmothers of Joshua and Jeremiah who have been very instrumental in our lives, and also then Cecilia and Greta's grandmother, Gladys. So this is to them, the Chedvene Tulipan. So the words mean, hunter in the woods, miller in the mill, they were worried about me, there was a second mill in a grove of daisies, red tulips blooming in the garden under the apple tree, and I will put a red tulip on my lapel. So this is the Chedvene Tulipan. Ready? And uh, one, two, one, three.
in the monitor if we could get some of that that would help thank you all right next we're going to go along with another one that i arranged this one is called nepovim which really means i won't tell and other than that i don't know what the rest of the lyrics mean so i won't tell you aha uh -huh, get it okay so um when we when our daughter was crowned this the national u.s czech slovak queen we got, a trip, got to go to the Czech Republic and listen to many, many brass bands. And um, so there's different types of brass bands. There's European brass bands, and they do a lot of uh, classical music and mostly have just brass instruments. So they might have six trumpets, four baritones, four tubas, four horns, a big group. Matt plays in one, actually, in Nebraska called the Nebraska Brass Band, not Czech Brass Band, but Brass Band. And how many members do they have? Maybe about 24? 34. Oh my, 34. So, and they're all brass players. So the music that we follow or that we are performing here is called music of the style of Dechova, which is a different uh, style of brass band that you will see in the Czech Republic, uh, in, the, in Slovakia, in some of those, in Germany, things like that. You also will see the other brass bands that do more classical music in those countries as well. But this is the, so the Dechova is the style that we're playing. So one of those groups is the Mishrinanka uh, Orchestra, which uh, we have several other recordings, and this is one that I just fell in love with and, with and thought we needed to play it. So here we go with Nepovim, I Won't Tell. Ready? And one, two, ready, go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you very much. That was Nepovine. Next we have Zahuchelli Hori. And this one's going to feature Mark and Greta doing some singing. Roaring of the Mountains. This is one of the older ones that we did in, um, in the, from the old book of the brass band. But um, this kind of brings us into the, the section of music that we feature our queens. So the queens are going to have a lot of stuff going on here in the next few minutes. Um, so somebody back in was the Saunders County Czech queen back a few years ago. And being the oldest of the family, uh, kind of got all the sisters involved. And so uh, besides uh, Debbie she, and her five sisters, four of them ended up being queens uh, for various Czech clubs. And two of them ended up being state queens, like Cecilia. And uh, then we also have three cousins, four cousins, that have been preg, uh, the next generation, four cousins. So besides Cecilia, and Greta's coming up, but then we had Darren as a queen, and we had Michaela as a queen, and is that it? Lydia. And Lydia, sorry. Thank you. And so Lydia was a state queen, and now Cecilia is a state queen. Michaela was a state queen, and then Michaela won the national title as well. So it all started with my lovely wife being a queen back in... Because <laughs> she didn't want me to tell you that. But we're going to do Zahu Chelly Hori, and I think you're going to do some singing on this one too, aren't you? Okay. So Mark and Greta and Debbie will sing some of Zahu Chetty Hori. Here we go. Cut time. One, two, three, go. <laughs>
Okay, and continuing on with that theme, we're going to do the Nemelem polka, which means the grinder's polka. It's also a very popular piece that's played by a lot of bands. We'd like to dedicate this tune to the happy players in Fremont, Jameson, Jackson, Luke, and Turner, and their parents, Scott and Libby Bretman, Jody and Eric Blick, Steve and Lori Eisenminger. It's great to see the success that they're having and, and to see the younger generation carry on the music that so many people have enjoyed over the years. Musiki is another one that we'll do, which is right after this one. This is Nemelem. Same people singing? Are you singing this one? Okay. You too? All right. Here we go. Got it? Musiki, and 
I have translation for the words. This is Musiki Musiki, and partial translation is, you don't play music, you woke me up. I didn't sleep. The girl I didn't get. You are musically to blame. We went a mile to ring the bell to hack an oak tree for a cuckoo. <laughs> That's part of it. Yeah, interesting, huh? Okay. All right. That's a really bad translation. But okay. This is Muziki Muziki. Here we go. Quarantine tonight with the uh, Preg Czech Brass Band tonight. We appreciate you so much. And uh, by the way, we've got another hour to go, or a little less than an hour, and I guarantee this is the best thing on television. Mississippi State just won uh, the uh, College World <laughs> Series. So there you go, their first national championship in hey. program history. Uh, I saw the look on the clarinet player's faces when I came over. It's like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming to talk to us. What are we going to do? Now, this is a Fremont High School student, right? Tell us your name. Yukina. You've actually been on the show one time before, haven't you? Maybe not. No, I don't think so. Okay. Well, you have done a great job, by the way. Tell me, uh, uh, you go to Fremont High School, what year? Senior. Has she been a very good student, I oh, would imagine? Oh, yes. Very talented on that. Uh, so thank you very much for coming tonight. Uh, how did you get into the polka music? Just Mr. Sager? Yeah, Mr. Sager just kind of brought me in, so 
kind of hard, you know. You didn't have a choice, did you? You just thought, <laughs> well, this is the only kind of music they offer at Fremont High School. Well, I, can't, <laughs> I can't say Mr. Sager, so. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, we get a lot of very nice comments about him. In fact, the band that's playing next Tuesday, July 6th, all uh, the Happy Players, a group of guys from Fremont High School, they were students of yours in middle school, and uh, they have kind of a cult following on Quarantine Tonight. Do you know about this? Oh, yeah, I've been watching. Yeah. Okay. And I tell you what, when you get on the phone with Jameson, you better block out about 20 minutes. That's right. Because <laughs> Jameson, Jameson has a lot going on. He's got the gift of gab. He does yes. have the gift of gab. And what's so interesting is Jameson has the gift of gab, and Jackson... Oh, he is he so doesn't quiet. have a lot to say. Yeah, he but won't the, say anything. But those two get, uh, they just get right in there and start playing the music. Yep. Think about all the students that you've had go through your program. Mm -hmm. Has it just been an amazing career when you think about all that? 33 years. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. A lot 33. of great kids. Now, you're still there, right? No, I retired in 19. Oh, you did? Okay, mm -hmm. and how's retirement been treating you? Great. I've been selling <laughs> houses. Oh, really? <laughs> in what town? Don Peterson and Associates. Oh, okay. Very good. Very good. All over Nebraska, really, but yeah. Do you sell them just to check people, probably? Most, <laughs> mostly, yes. <laughs> I give them a break. I bet you do. I bet you do. Polka fan lives here. All right. Hey, we're going to have more coming right up. You're watching News Channel Nebraska. This is Quarantine Tonight. Oh, look at all these uh, folks gathered here. We've got a large crowd, a big band. This is the Czech brass band from Prague, Nebraska. And uh, we've got so many wonderful uh, musicians here tonight offering up their talents. And just think about what it takes, uh, Steve, to corral this many people. Exactly. This is like running a middle school, it basically. Is. Yeah. You've Only got worse, it. because everybody's busy. Yeah. And they don't well, exactly do what the it. teacher says at that stage in life, right? Uh, I don't know. They've been, you guys have been awesome yes. as far as rehearsing goes. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, we're very lucky to have them all here. We've got a parking lot full of cars because they've come from all different parts of the world. And uh, tonight, you're getting something that nobody, I don't think you've been on quarantine tonight with this uh, Preg band yet. Uh, nope. This is the first time. Nope. So we've been waiting for you. We've heard about right. it. We've. Uh, Waited for the moment, and tonight we've got it. We've got, uh, now what are you about to do over here on your, uh, is this a solo? Is this a duet? It's a, it's a duet. It's a duet. Oh, very nice. What song are we doing? Uh, Ush Kamaradi Are You. Oh, very nice. Very nice. You can't make this up, ladies and gentlemen. No. Nope. You're watching Quarantine Tonight on News Channel Nebraska. So next we're going to do Zbraslavska, which is continuing to feature our Czech queens. So this is going to feature Greta singing this music, and I remember Greta, I think she was a seventh grader, or maybe younger, when Mark would play this at the Kolach Corner, and he pulled her aside and said, here, sing this. So we taught her the words, and then every time we get together, he pulls the accordion out, and Greta gets to sing Ush Kamaradi. So that's what we're going to do. Special thanks to Kenny Janik and the Nebraska Czech Brass Band uh, out of Omaha, which what used to be the Omaha Czech Brass Band, he loaned me the music for this. I told him I had a very talented niece that wanted to sing this, so I found the music from him, and here we go with Zbraslavska.
That is a good one. How did you do that without music? Okay, next we're going to take a, a moment here and have Cecilia. Which one's first? Yep, Cecilia is going to come on up and do her talent that she did Saturday in Clarkson. Do you want to talk about that a little bit, maybe, while we get situated? Mark, accordion, right? All right, so this song is called The White Handkerchief Polka. And back um, a while ago, my grandpa had the Adolf Nemitz Polka Band and he would always end all of his performances with the White Handkerchief Polka. Um, so I wanted to do this piece as a tribute to him, but it was written without lyrics. And so with the help of my aunt and uncle, uh, Steve and Debbie Steger, I wrote lyrics to it, and then using some more family connections, we were able to translate it to Czech. So this is the piece that I used as my talent um, when I was competing in Clarkson, and I'm happy that I get the chance to share it with you tonight. Yes. And then uh, we're doing three times through in B flat. Um, right? Oh, sorry, sorry, Cecilia. Good job of trying to sing Thank to the you. wrong tune. Way to go. <laughs> so it's the, the white handkerchief, right? B flat. Okay. B flat. Can you just do the intro and she'll jump in in the fifth bar? Ba -da -da -dum. Bum, 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 bum. Sing. Got it? You want ba -da 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 -da. And then go on to a white, no. white handkerchief. Okay. And we're in two flat. That's the okay. one. Okay. Okay. Right. So we're just gonna hey, do it. Live TV. Too many songs. Okay. <laughs> live TV. Here okay. we go. Right. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. 
sorry, some technical difficulties there. Okay. We got it straightened out. Next is the Blue Skirt Waltz featuring Bolt, Cecilia, and Greta. I think we have to find some words. And this one, Mark, we're doing an uh, F, then B flat. Okay, Blue Skirt. How many times um, three? What else can we talk about? How many times three? Well, we'll do the intro, the beginning part. Okay. Oh, okay. And then the trio once. I'll do the solo, then the trio, and we'll be done. Okay? I'll start it off. Ready? One, two, three, one. <laughs> I met you when lights were bright and people were carefree and gay. You were a beautiful lady in blue. I was in heaven just waltzing with you. You filled me with strange delight and softly you strolled away. Rolling in again. Yep. Okay, change of equipment. Uh oh. I can't get to it. Is the next one salt and pepper? Yes. Oh, good. So this one is Pepsh and Sul. This is a, a piece that we got from, from the, uh, the group Stribinonka. When we were in the Czech Republic, we visited Kunovice, uh, where my daughter, when she was a national queen, had corresponded with the mayor of Kunovice. And while we were there, they said that they had this, the, bra the brass band band leader lived in that town. So we got to have dinner with him. And by the time dinner was over, uh, we had talked about and laughed about a bunch of stuff. So he brought over a whole box full of music that we had to buy a new suitcase to get all the music home from the Czech Republic. So this is one of those tunes. And um, while we were there, the mayor graciously went and chewed out the police because they were going to give me a parking ticket. But she didn't want them to do that, so she went and shoot them off and saved me from having a fine. So something to remember about the Czech Republic. Watch where you park. Okay, this is Pepsh and Sewell, which is pepper and salt. Thank you. 
<laughs> Welcome to quarantine tonight. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be nice to the clarinets for a second, and not go their way. But uh, hey, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching News Channel Nebraska. This just looks great on television. Beautiful duet there from our two queens, and thank you all for uh, going to bat for us tonight. We've got a huge crowd watching on uh, television and online. People from around the nation identify with this, uh, what you're doing, and uh, I hope you get lots of good comments. And then uh, I had to take the kolaches and move them to the next room, <laughs> Debbie, because uh, the sound guys were like taking over. Uh, we're down to about half now. Ooh, so, wow. And, and uh, somebody said, the, these taste so good. Did you just make them like hours ago, or when did you make them? Oh, no, I made them last Monday. You did? Yes. Well, they taste really good. They taste really good. So, Thank you. yes, we've got a nice crowd here. So we've got about 30 minutes left. What do we have in our next set, Steve? Uh, we've got uh, some more polkas, some more waltzes, and we're going to feature the girls a little bit more and some more new music from the Czech Republic. Oh, very good. So who's the last person to visit the Czech Republic? Who do we have here? That Who was it? Probably us. When did you go? We went in 2017. And what was that like? It was fantastic. We were there for four weeks. Oh, really? Yeah. What did you do? We followed a lot of the brass bands around and play and went to their brass band festivals. And are there a lot of brass bands running around? There are. There are a lot. We got to hear about 20 of them. And uh, just traditional music or? Mostly polkas and waltzes. And they'll do some foxtrots once in a while. And they'll so they also fill do the place, fill the venue? Tangos. Yeah, well, most of them are outside. Okay. Um, the first place that we went to had the... Uh, Moravanka Orchestra, which is one of the first Czech groups to tour to tour yeah. the United States, and yes, they'll they'll pack the pack the stands. A lot of people just come just to listen. There's not much dancing because the music goes kind of fast. Yeah. So to dance, they have to really abbreviate what they do. Instead of going one and two, one and two, they have to go one, 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 and it's not it's not traditional like you would see polka dancing here, but. Right. Because the tempo of the music. So when they find out that you're a musician from America, they're like, how is it doing over there? Well, I talked to several of them that could speak English, and um, they're surprised at how well we uphold the traditions from the Czech Republic because the typical, typical families probably are not that much into polkas and waltzes. They're more into the country and rock thing. In the Czech Republic? Yeah, but there are still... A lot of people that follow the Dechova type of brass band, like we're talking about here, yeah. and um, there's there's a ton of people that go. It's amazing to see all the people there. So, is ballroom dancing still a thing there? I have no idea. We didn't come into contact. It's not really with ballroom. It's just yeah, we just didn't come into contact with that. But I bet there is over the winter time. Yeah. yeah. Well, we we're going to have more of it coming right up here on News Channel Nebraska, and a reminder. The next Monday night, yes, it is uh, July 5th. I know a lot of banks and businesses are observing holidays. We are not. We're going to have the Marksman here. And the, the Marksman is really code for the Prodigal Sons. It's the same band. It's just uh, less gospel and more older country. And then next Tuesday, the Happy Players will be here. And then uh, next Wednesday, Mason Michaels Band. So we've got a lot of great music coming up as we embark on July. You should be getting our postcard soon that is if you send us a letter if you don't get the postcard you want it send us a letter to this address on the bottom of your screen 214 north 7th street in norfolk you send that uh to us and we will make sure you get our monthly postcard does anybody here get that in the group here not yet not yet <laughs> you probably don't send a lot of snail mail letters that's probably why all right we'll be right back with more on news channel nebraska I am right in the middle of all the action here uh, at the uh, Prague uh, Czech Brass Band. And uh, let's introduce ourselves to a few of these. Well, we've got another clarinet player who has evaded me uh, so far. Tell everybody who you are. Uh, my name's Jessica. And uh, you're from? I'm from Fremont, but I go to college in, at Northwest Missouri State in Maryville, Missouri. Are you coming back to Nebraska? Um, yeah, I live here, but yeah. 
Enough of Missouri. We don't, we don't, they don't need any more people over there. Uh, we have a teacher here. Uh, tell us your name. I'm Jill Merman. Uh, my maiden name was Stara. Okay, from originally where? I'm originally from David City, and my grandparents are from Bruno, Nebraska, which is another very Czech village. Are they watching you tonight? I believe so on Facebook Live. Oh, very good. Well, we have we do have a lot of uh, viewers from uh, Butler County, by the way. Uh, my in-laws live in Butler County as well, big polka dancers. Uh, tell me, uh, you know, you're married and you have a child, children or children? I have two kids, um, a three-year-old and a one-year-old. So I'm... I know they were watching earlier, but I'm sure <laughs> they're fast asleep by now. What are their names? Um, Ella is the three-year-old, and Patrick is the one-year-old. And what about that other one you put to bed every night, your husband? Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm sure he's still up. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to get to bed. <laughs> we're not done with the program. But, uh, yes, we appreciate them all watching. And uh, are they polka fans? Are they in, Do they enjoy this? Uh, yes, very much. We've been out to the Collage Corner many times, and even my little girl... She loves just like bopping around to it too. Is it? It's great music. It's happy music. It's happy music for happy people. Well, we're going to have more here on News Channel Nebraska. You're watching Quarantine Tonight and more of the Preg Czech Brass Band on News Channel Nebraska. We're going to start off with uh, Mark on the accordion doing Clover by the Water, right? Uh, yep. Natalie yep. Czech Uvori. All right. Go ahead. Yep.
And I gotta find out what the translation is here. It means echoes from home, actually. Echoes from home. Or echoes from the mountains. So we're gonna send this to all of our friends from Texas that are watching. Um, the, Texas really does a good job of promoting their polka music and uh, their national polka festival with the Zuppetals and uh, all the other festivals that go on in Texas, West Fest. Um, I don't want to name names because I would probably forget somebody, but uh, let's see. We've got, uh, let me think of some of the names. We've got Danny, Michelle. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of them. <laughs> Pat. Uh, and also, special thanks to Michael and Deborah for coming up last weekend and enjoying the, the weekend with us. Here we go with Echo from the Home, from Home. Ready? And uh, one, two, one, two. <laughs> There it is, that's the one. Drum solo, yes. Thank you. Next we're gonna do the homecoming waltz, and this is gonna feature um, our Czech queens again, singing on this one. Cecilia and Greta, the homecoming waltz. And here we go. 
I have to empty. Everybody got it? Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, one, two, three, ready, go. <laughs> Vetu Mladosti, In Blooming Youth. And those of you that have ever played in a, in a polka band, there's many of you out there, you know that a lot of the music has DCs and DSs all over the place. So that's what we have in some of our music. Uh, there's repeats that, that sometimes get us thrown off a little bit here and there, but uh, we're doing our best. So here we go with... Uh, in Blooming Youth. We got it? You may not have it. Okay. One, two, one, two. <laughs>
Thank you. Hope you're enjoying this. Um, we're going to do one more and then our theme song. Hopefully we'll have time for that. Um, this is the funny little girl, Rosmarna Devchatko. Uh, we would like to dedicate this piece to all the young ladies and gentlemen that have served as princes and princesses in all of the, the chapters across the state of Nebraska. We currently have 11 Czech chapters in the state, and each chapter has the opportunity to send a queen to the state pageant. There have been some changes, chapters, that have closed over the years, and new ones have developed. I'm currently the president of Nebraska Czechs, and would like to encourage communities to form more chapters across not only Nebraska, but Oklahoma, Kansas, Texas, Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin, South Dakota, even Florida, California, Missouri, Alaska. We've had representatives from those states in the past. More chapters means more queens, which means more heritage being discussed and communicated in your families and your homes. We'd love to see more queens competing in the surrounding states and more competing at the national level. So here we go with the funny little girl, Rosmarna Devchatko.
Wow, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that was worth delaying the 10 o'clock news for, by the way. <laughs> that and the kolaches. All right, come on in here. We need we need everybody here. We need uh, the whole crew here. We've got the, we've got two queens, and uh, he's dressed in authentic uh, Czech Republic uh, entertainment wear. <laughs> we want to say thank you to everybody sincerely for being here. Congratulations to you, uh, and congratulations to you in advance of your. Uh, queendom, is that the right way to say that? Queendom? <laughs> uh, your reign, yes. That's great. We did and not so, get to introduce Bill Kellett, oh, our yes, lead trumpet player who has been playing his chops off. Good <laughs> job, man. Way to go. All right, and remind me where you're from. Where, uh, where are you from? From Fremont. Of course. Uh -huh. Fremont, Nebraska. <laughs> and how did you get pulled into this whole mess? Are you related to anybody here? Uh, no, not not really, but Steve and I have known each other for a long time. Deb, Deb and Steve and I were all in the marching band at UNL together back in the uh, late 70s, early 80s. So. The Red Rooters, you probably yeah. know them as well. Uh -huh. Everything's connected in music. <laughs> Everybody in music is connected. Isn't that true? That's, it that is. is true. You did a great job, by the way. And uh, have you always been a trumpet? Yes, uh, I've always been a trumpet player. Now, who's watching tonight? Do you have anybody special? Yeah, my wife is watching tonight. And her name is Andrea. In Fremont? In Fremont, and she's Polish. Oh, <laughs> I can't imagine. <laughs> Any children watching? Uh, maybe. Uh, I've got four boys, and uh, they, uh, she, we have this little uh, message site called Family Affair, and she's sending up to them. So, <laughs> more importantly, are, more importantly, grandchildren. That's what we need to talk about. Oh yeah, yeah. I've got uh, five right now, and one on the way. So. And what town? Uh, in Fremont. Well, no, actually, <laughs> uh, my um, my son, one of my sons lives down in uh, in Missouri, and he has five. Oh. Yes, and then uh, my son Wade lives in in uh, Elkhorn, and him and his wife Jana, and uh, and uh, we they've got one on the way, so we're excited about that. Well, congratulations! You know, I have a lot of family in Fremont too, the Sund family, really? S U N D. So I had Warren Caleb. Sund would be a uncle of mine, Wayne Sund, Nancy Skooksmith. My grandparents yep. lived on Pacific, uh, there on the north end of Fremont, so. When every movie came out and I was uh, down there for the summer, I watched it at the Fremont Theater. So mm -hmm. there you go. You know some of my family, it sounds like. Yeah. Sounds like it. Uh, we know Caleb's son. We had him as a, he's a tuba player. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. There you go. Yep. And there's one more over here. He's uh, Now tell everybody who you are, by the way. My name's Matt Shepard uh, from Omaha. And how did you get pulled into this whole thing? I've known Steve since we both started teaching back in the late 80s, and he wrote me in, and I fell in love with the music, and here I am today. Are you still teaching? I am retired. I uh, retired the same year as Steve. What, uh, from what school? I uh, retired from Westside Community School, right. uh, taught middle school. Middle school is really where it's at. My wife taught right. middle school, too. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the formation of future musicians. Well, I tell you what, we want to say thank you to everybody. I think I talked to everybody. Well, we dealt with you. We dealt with you on Monday. Uh, we've talked to Oh, you've escaped me. You've escaped me. <laughs> I'm Jeremiah Steger. Oh, uh, and where do you live? Uh, Lincoln, Nebraska. So you escaped to the capital city. You've got one brother in Aurora. You've got your dad in Fremont. And uh, what do you do in, Fre in Lincoln? Uh, I'm an implementation analyst through Pfizer. Oh. That sounds kind of complicated. <laughs> That's a lot of uh, that's a lot of computer work, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. That's where all the money's at, by the way. Not in music; it's in banking. Uh, that's where they make all the money. Uh, who else have I missed here? I think I've had everybody else here on TV tonight. So, uh, on behalf of all of us here at News Channel Nebraska, thank you for watching. Past ten o'clock, we want to say thank you and uh, congratulations to our two queens. And uh, we'll be back. Uh, we've got replays Thursday and Friday. We've got, uh, let's see, The Marksman next Monday. Some old-time country right here on News Channel Nebraska. Good night.